Hello all, welcome to a brief introduction to Fasha Aliaka compartment block done in emergency department. My name is Amit Jaiswal and I work in Kingsmill Hospital a &E. So First of all, what are the indication of a Fasha Aliaka compartment block? It is to give pain relief to a patient who has got neck of femur fracture or in fact soft of femur fracture. And it is kind of a regional anesthesia which can be used both in adults and children. Before we proceed, we need to understand a bit of anatomy. So when we're doing a fascia block, our goal is to block three nerves. The way I remember is by a short formula called flow. The first one is the femoral nerve. The second one is lateral femoral cutaneous nerve and obturator nerve. So femoral nerve, lateral femoral cutaneous nerve and obturator nerve is quite medial. So few muscles we need to understand as a landmark when we are trying to scan the patient's groin. The first one is tensor fascia lata. Now why it is important is because the first fascia which we pierce through when we do fascia iliaca block is the fascia lata which originates from this tensor fascia. The second muscle is sartorius which arises from lateral aspect from ASIS and goes medially crossed over and joins the knee. The third and fourth important muscle is iliosuas. The suas muscle, this bulky muscle originates from the lateral aspect of thoracolumbar vertebrae, joins the iliacus which originates from the iliac crest and inserts at lesser trochanter. So the fascia which we pierces when we try to do a fascia iliaca block is fascia lata and fascia iliaca. So fascia lata comes from tensor fascia lata muscle in the previous slide we talked about and fascia iliaca is the name originates from the iliacus muscle. So if we take a transverse section of our thigh and try to understand the anatomy, so we talked about uh, several fascias, uh, several muscles. Now, as we all know, if you take a section of right thigh, the vein, the femoral vein will be most medial. So this will be our medial aspect. This is our lateral aspect, so you've got vein, artery, and nerve. So vein is not visible here. And then we talked about several muscles. The first one we talked about is sartorius muscle, which is from the lateral aspect, from ASIS, crosses medially and inserts at, around the knee. Then we talked about big iliosuas muscle, which inserts at the lesser trochanter. And the two fascia, that white band of light, uh, white band you see here is, is the two fascia adhered together. Now, if you note carefully here on this section, so the top layer, the fascia lata, is the one which covers iliosuas, femoral nerve, femoral artery, and the vein more medially. And the deep blue color here you see is the fascia iliaca. That covers the iliosuas and femoral nerve, but it goes below the artery, which means uh, the needle has to go through both the fascias and the medication has, to be, medication has to be deposited below the fascia iliaca in order for the medication to block the femoral nerve. And hopefully we aim, we hope that the medication will travel laterally to block the lateral femoral cutaneous nerve and medially obturator nerve. So just to give an idea about the video, so you have got vein, you have got artery, that's the nerve, and you can see the, the white band fascia, that's the sartorius muscle, and then iliosuas muscle deep down here. So traditionally, we do fascia block by using a landmark technique, which is a two-pop technique. So two-pop is because the needle passes through two fascias and makes a pop, pop of filling. Now we are using ultrasound guided. Um, so the aim is to block at least two of the three nerves we talked about. If you remember FLO, we talked about femoral, lateral femoral cutaneous, and obturator nerve. So just to understand again, so you have got iliosuas muscle, you have got fascia lata and iliaca together. The nerve is lying below the fascia iliaca. Um, when you are trying to scan, start from medial aspect, slide your probe laterally until you get rid of both the artery, nerve, and vein. And uh, when you put in the needle from lateral aspect, your needle should not reach beyond two-third, one-third junction 
as we normally do in a two pop technique on a landmark technique. So here is a representation of how the fascia iliaca block is done. So I'm looking at my patient's right thigh and the needle will, will be coming from lateral aspect going medially and the tip of the needle has to reach not further than the medial two-third and lateral one-third junction. Just to briefly understand what medication are we using in fascia iliaca compartment block, we use uh, levo BPVcaine or Kyrocaine and make sure the concentration is 0.25%. We do a bulk deposit. We roughly deposit 40 ml on patients who are more than 50 kilos and it's 30 ml if your patient is less than 50 kilos. When you are injecting, make sure you inject 3 to 5 ml and aspirate to make sure that you are not advertently uh, entered the blood vessels. It, it requires two person and obviously it's, it's quite demanding. Uh, before you inject, you make sure that you are aware of the management of local anesthetic toxicity. Uh, there must be trust guidelines and you must be using the local audit uh, performer. So the antidote for LA toxicity is lipidimelsin. Most of the time it is kept in rhesus. I hope that uh, short presentation was helpful. We'll see you in the workshop.